Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Z Learning. We lost our service underwater while we were checking out our California sea lions and harbor seals. But we are going to be heading up to top deck here for a closer look. Hopefully we can still see them, but we might have to share some pictures later this afternoon because service has just not been on our side this morning. But you know what? Z Learning, it's always keeping me on the edge of my seat. So let's go ahead and check out those animals here from top deck. Let me go ahead and turn around the camera here so that way y'all can see what I'm looking at. Oh, Jessica, thanks for tuning back in. You know, I was optimistic. I hoped that we could have good enough service underwater. Hopefully the camera looks better again. Oh, winter hello again is right. BB, it is so great to see you still tuning in, of course, live for us here at Sea Lion Landing. But now that we're up on top deck, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to see some of these differences between these two species. But what I encourage you to do is head back on over to that original video we shared. And if you check out that caption, it'll have more details on how to tell these two species apart. In fact, you know what we might end up doing just because of our, our cell phone service this morning? So I might have to share some pictures this afternoon. Take a look at who's right underneath us though this morning. That is Gambit and Triton, two of our harbor seals right here at Sea Lion Landing. Now, once again, the easiest way to tell those two different species apart is you're gonna be looking for the coloration of their coat. Harbor seals are gonna be speckled and very small in size, whereas the California sea lions are gonna be much larger and darker in color. But good morning, Anna. Thanks everybody for tuning in. You're all getting a great view up here on top deck at Sea Lion Landing. Let's go ahead and see if we can zoom in on over here. We got a couple of our friends that just hauled out on land. Gambit's out over on the rocky area and here comes Triton over this direction as well. It is so great to see all of you rolling with it this morning. You know, we're always gonna have to adapt for all those technical difficulties, but we have much better service out here thank goodness so keep sending in those questions because i would love to answer them either live or later on in the day i'll jump on the comment section of course but i was noticing a few of you actually were curious of how fast they can swim now i can't remember who exactly asked the question but it's a great one to ask because on average california sea lions usually clock in right around eight miles per hour underwater now, I know that doesn't sound very quick, but if anything, California sea lions are much better at changing direction with an agile quick turn versus agility going straight forward. Now, being a predator species, those quick last minute movements are great for catching prey, of course. Now, all these individuals that you can see coming up here for breath right now, these are California sea lions, of course. Anna was wondering, do we brush their teeth? That definitely was one of our past Z learning features. In fact, we did a whole feature just on brushing Gambit's teeth. In fact, I might have to share that link from our YouTube channel if you haven't tuned in for that one. It's a question we get asked all the time now after Z learning is who gets their teeth brushed right here at Riverbanks? And I'll tell you, here at Sea Lion Landing, Gambit, let's go ahead and see, let's scoot over a little bit further over and see if we can zoom in on him. Gambit, our harbor seal, is the one and only individual right there on the rock <laughs> that gets his teeth brushed on a regular basis. Now, Gambit just happens to have some pervasive gingivitis, so his teeth need a little extra cleaning. Thankfully, though, the rest of our California sea lions and harbor seals don't need the extra attention, which means that they don't get their teeth brushed and said that our Keepers are ready to train that behavior if needed, but thank goodness that they have a, a, a bright smile, let's say, and they don't have that gingivitis <laughs> like some of our other individuals. Such a great question to ask though. I will go ahead and share that link for that YouTube feature that we did on Gambit, gosh, a few weeks ago. Now look at what y'all are gonna see is some of our mammal keepers are coming out still before our morning feeding. They might do a quick little cleaning session, prep the area before they come out and clean. But of course, all of the residents at Sea Lion Landing are very curious. They're looking to see what's going on, if they have any fish buckets, of course. 
Ooh, BB, good question. With how big of an animal they are, what kind of predators do they have to worry about? Well, one of the biggest predators that they have are predatory whales, say like orcas, for example, and even sharks as well, believe it or not. Thankfully though, California sea lions, for example, actually hang out in large groups so that way they can look for all those ocean predators. Here comes our cleepers cleaning up our area. These are our mammal keepers. They're making sure to get everything spick and span, of course, here at Sea Lion Landing. But of course, living out in the Pacific Ocean and if you're a harbor seal, the Atlantic Ocean too, there are plenty of predators to be wary of. Oh, a shout out though to Megan. Thank you so much for donating to Riverbanks. That donation helps us do what we do best here at Riverbanks. And that is our mission of creating connections, inspiring actions, and impacting conservation. Christina, I am so glad you are ready to visit in person. We are open to the public. Check out riverbanks.org for more information on our timed ticketing and how best to come explore the zoo with all of our safety procedures intact for all of you to have a very comfortable visit. Ooh, Anna, H10, another great question. You notice that our keepers are cleaning on deck right now. Do they ever get in the water with our sea lions? They absolutely do. In fact, it's usually later in the afternoon. They get in all their dive suits and they have all of their oxygen that heads on down underwater with them. And they actually scrub the entire underwater area from the acrylic windows to the rock work underwater to replicate this natural habitat for them. Their cleaning regimen is so strict. They are doing it nearly every single day to make sure that this 300 thousand gallon habitat of salt water is clean and healthy for our harbor seals and our sea lions. Oh, SG, I love that you can hear the sea lions barking late at night. They have been extra noisy lately. We have some young male sea lions that are getting older and older and growing into their personalities and they're getting extra loud these days. <laughs> JT H7 was wondering how long do they spend out of water? Now, most of the times when you come to riverbanks, you see them swimming around. Sea lions and harbor seals can actually spend a good bit of time, hours upon hours, outside of the water. In fact, usually not during this season because it's a little warmer out. They like to stay cool. But if you visit us in the fall or winter, a lot of times you're going to see our sea lions coming out, taking naps and drying out out on deck. Great question though, JT. Thanks for asking. Oh, Phil was wondering how sensitive are they to the heat and the cold? Thankfully, they're actually really highly adapted, especially to our climate right here in South Carolina. But regardless of that, we set them up for success. This habitat with all of the water that you see here in front of you is actually chilled to right around 60, 65 degrees. So it is much colder than I would like to swim in during the summertime, but for them with their thick layers of blubber, it is a nice cool escape. But during the colder months here in South Carolina, there are plenty at home because if you think about the Pacific Ocean, it has very chilly currents. So that blubber keeps them warm, but then the water of course cools them off during our warmer South Carolina summers. But honestly, this morning, it's very comfortable out here for both me and the sea lions. Oh, it looks like we have a question from Anna, Elizabeth, and Elma want to know how big are the babies? Well, surprisingly enough, all the individuals that you see here today are actually full grown adults. Our youngest individual is right around three, four years old, but is full grown. We don't actually have any young right here in this habitat. Eventually we look forward to possibly having harbor seal pups here. Probably not California sea lion, just kind of depends. Of course, we are a part of those species survival plans, and it all depends on those breeding recommendations. Right now, we don't have any specific recommendations for California sea lions, but of course, every day is a different day here at Riverbanks, but we go with all of those different breeding recommendations. So who knows? Maybe stay tuned, of course. But right now, we are, of course, more than thrilled to take care of all of these adult residents here at the landing. Oh, Emily, great question. Do you have to wear a mask when you visit the zoo? 
all of our staff here at Riverbanks wear our masks, of course, for your safety and for ours. We highly encourage our guests to wear masks, but no, it is not required to wear masks during your visit here to Riverbanks. Look at the commotion. The doors just open. Our biggest sea lions came thundering back. They're heading behind the scenes, right through the doorways. <laughs> You all are getting to see it now. They are getting ready for their morning feeding this morning. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through more of these questions. Let's go ahead and see if I can find any more. Oh, Pam was wondering, do the zookeepers use toothpaste when they brush Gambit's teeth? Pam, they actually do. I have to tell you. So they actually use dog toothpaste. So it's a little bit flavored. And then of course, say for his teeth, most importantly, but yes, they do in fact use toothpaste. How funny is that? Don, yes, we are open to the public. You might notice there's actually some visitors hanging out here in the background since we're out on public side now. Head to riverbanks.org for more information about all of the time ticketing and all the precautions that we are now taking now that we have officially reopened. Woo! You can hear some of the barking going on right now here at Sea Lion Landing. I want to thank all of you for rejoining us live here at the landing. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in and being patient with our poor connection underwater. I was hoping we might be able to make it work because it is such a great view to compare our two different species between our California sea lions and our harbor seals. We might need to get a little creative next time if we ever do that again though we might have to bring a, a wi-fi hotspot maybe <laughs> but everybody who is still sending in questions keep sending them in i'm going to jump on our comments immediately after we wrap up our live session this morning but i do want to mention since i have all of you here live this morning let me go ahead and turn around the camera quick this week we have a packed week yet again of course for z learning it is week 13 for z learning and i want to tell you tomorrow is World Sea Turtle Day, which means we're going to head over with Journey, our green sea turtle, and get an up-close view on Journey. I know we've done a feature before on sea turtles, but those of you who might have missed it before, tune in tomorrow morning, Tuesday at 10 a.m. for a very special feature all on sea turtles. And then later this week, we are going to be feeding our gorillas and if you tune in on Friday, we have a big update for some of our tallest residents here at Riverbanks and how our herd has changed. Tune in for all of our Z learning features this week at 10 a.m. And until tomorrow, everybody, have a wonderful day and we will see you tomorrow.